here to grace the stage, Sherry Purvis Hall. Many of us this crowd the saints sharing themselves in such a way that caused me questions. Their stories were full of glory and positivity, and I began to wonder if there was anyone in the room like me still struggling. Still struggling with thoughts of lust and perversions, entertained thoughts of who I used to be having fun in my mind silently. Thinking of who and what I would have done, releasing a barrage of expletives and beating someone with my bare hands because they did something dumb like cut me out the trap. Yeah. Visualizing parties and sensual encounters with people who I never would have been with in real life. Mental depictions of things transform people would never do in real life. Mental depictions of things only conform people do in real life. And instead of getting fixed, this is how I get my fix without being found out. You see, I really live in my mind. I only exist out here. Mm -hmm. An unfinished product. And I wanted to testify about how I don't anymore and how I won't anymore and how glory be to God for he's worthy to be praised for. Mm -hmm. I find myself in a second. Because I don't want to give that I'm still breathing testament of faith. Looking around at all these people giving their testimonies, I began to wonder why. Why doesn't mine draw as much emotion from me as theirs do from within them? Why aren't I, with tear-filled eyes, willfully exposing all my idiotic instances, misery and foolish misses, moments wrong, low-pitched groans and high-pitched wails from a spirit openly admitting to her skin's madness? It seems I'm just too egotistic to truthfully purge. Gathering the nerves seems absurd, when in reality I'm going to say something I hope you didn't hurt. <laughs> Exposing innermost haunting memories of abuse and its products, and its products becoming the abuser, perpetrating the image of a winner, but on the low, I'm a loser, user, and true opposer in disguise. I'm tumbling in my lies, but I still make myself look like a trooper. Fearful of speaking because my words won't match my eyes, eyes won't match my life, judgment cuts like a knife, but if I get cut, will I still live as a sacrifice? Could it be that I'm too arrogant to truthfully admit that God did this? A moral defamation, a self-proclamation, a self-help I did it myself, selfish, 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 because when I testified, I lifted my name on high that I might be glorified. I lifted my name on high that I might be glorified. I just proved I didn't, you know, I don't even mention it. Because mm. I saved myself. I, I saved myself, I saved myself, I did. I stopped my drinking, I did. I stopped my smoking, I did. I stopped my lustful perversions, I did. I turned my eye away from lust, I did. I turned away my legal over the gallery sedatives, discontinued being a lush, I did. I stopped my anger from getting the best of me, I did. I stopped entertaining ignorance, I did. I will myself to do better, I will myself to be better. I have free will, I did. I shaped my destiny. I decided what I was purposed to do when I put the wheels in motion. I did, I did, God, not you. You only made it possible because you afforded me the luxury of waking up again. Afforded me the luxury of breathing again. Afforded me the luxury of thinking with a sound mind again. But if this mind is so sound, why can't I cannot wrap my head around the fact that all this self improvement could have been done by myself? I can tell you. I could make such a spectacle about being so covered with the blood that. No one would be able to see the incision that shows that's really me who's bleeding and not the blood of the lamb that shows. Mm -hmm. That's really me who's bleeding from self-inflicted injuries, a scarred heart, bruised self-esteem, challenged attitude, and screwed up free will. And I did this, God. Not you. Me. Not you. Me. And I will be found out. Someone will find out. Someone will find out that this blood that covers me is not the kind that cleanses, it just stains. Someone will find out that this blood that covers me is not the kind that heals, it just chafes. I guess I couldn't feel the fire shut up in my bones because this flesh got in the way. I guess I couldn't be an ambassador of the Christ because I would will people to walk this way. Eyes on me, no Christ in sight. I cannot testify. No, not tonight. I cannot testify. I already have too much blood dripping from hands to carry the load of another soul. I just wish. I just only pray that as I'm sitting here, 
sitting here amongst this crowd of respect, sharing themselves in such a way that it's caused me to question myself. That someone, someone out there just like me still struggling would testify and tell me how to get over me. <laughs> would testify and truthfully tell me about their mind and what's in it, speaking truthfully about how their lustful eye was squashed, truthfully telling about how they don't give that foolish emotional devotion anymore where they yipping, yapping, yelling, or running around the place, but where they really reach for the Spirit and allow God to reside inside how He reside inside and redid the interior design of their hearts and minds, how they reach in the Spirit of God, you found the incision, you repaired the glass, and now the blood that we see is the blood of Jesus. This is the testimony that's real. This is the one that heals. This is the one that you may have heard over and over again. The person just keeps telling it over and over again because they're so proud of what God has done for them. This is the one I And it's cool. It's cool to hear about what God did for you lately, how he paid your bill or whatever that is. But right now, I need to hear how God kept you safely from running yourself into ruins. Mm -hmm. Safe from harm to running yourself in the ground. Right now, I need to hear about the rehabilitating power of Christ and how to be healed, sealed, and deliverance. I need, I need, I need the testimony where God is truly glorified that I may learn to walk in the glory because I am in need of assistance. Thank you. Thank you.